Hi, I'm the Canadian cooking in the USA, or maybe out of this world. We are going to be making an out of this world delight. It's a Canadian favorite. It practically is celestial and very heavenly. So welcome to my alternative kitchen. Today we are going to be making butter tarts. Let's get started. a nine by nine baking tray of some dimension. If using a nine by nine, and because of the quantity of butter we were going to be using, you don't really need to grease your pan, but it might be a good idea to give it a light little dusting of flour. So that is step one in preparation of your bottom crust. Of butter, butter is best. You can use margarine, but the effect will not be as good. So quality, in this case, one stick butter. In addition to the stick of butter, you are going to need one third cup of brown sugar. You are also going to need one and one quarter cup flour. Now, it's important to crumble your butter into these ingredients and keep everything as cool as possible. And that is part of the secret for the best effect. You will need a mixing bowl to which you will add your one third cup packed brown sugar, one cup flour plus the other quarter cup flour, full stick of butter. Now this should still be malleable enough you can break it up into little crumbles and then do that into your container. Hmm. So just use a knife to cut through it and blend and cut through it and blend. Okay, so you see how this is crumbling up nicely? It'll be a little bit more but you keep going until it's all nice and mixed and there isn't any loose flour. So keep going. You'll know when it's ready. So unlike the asteroid belt that's got lots of little chunky rocks in it, you want your bottom base to be nice fine crumbles of that flour, brown sugar and butter. Something like this. Now you can press it into the bottom of your nine by nine pan. So here's our tray and it kind of looks like the surface of the moon, doesn't it? And don't forget, you're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake this for just 15 minutes. In the meantime, then you can prepare the pie filling or the topping that goes next. You're going to need a saucepan. And to this, you are going to melt one stick, a full stick of butter and one pressed cup of brown sugar. Put it in a saucepan and stir it over low heat until everything melts away. Now, one thing that makes butter tarts so delicious in addition to the butter are the raisins. Now, I have seen butter tarts with dark raisins, and here you can find them in little canisters, something like this. But it took me a while to find the right kind. They don't come in bags. You have to look for them in a box. So if you're in the United States, looking for golden raisins, you need to look for an orange box. Go figure. But alas, to that filling, you are going to need one full tablespoon of lemon juice. And you're going to need one half cup maple syrup. You are also going to be adding two eggs, 
one full teaspoon of vanilla extract and one quarter teaspoon of salt oven it's best to just let it cool slightly just let it cool slightly your house will smell like shortbreads it's wonderful so in my saucepan I have the butter and the brown sugar melting then we're going to add those two eggs one half cup maple syrup yum 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 here we go oh beautiful mm. And one teaspoon vanilla. Yum. Quarter teaspoon salt. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now before pouring all that special filling over top of your bottom layer, Make sure that your golden raisins don't have funny little stems on it and spread them around nicely on the bottom of the tray so you can see that they're evenly distributed. So whoever gets the next piece, they're just as good as the one before and taste like more. Okay, and then just pour the sauce carefully over the raisins. Mm. Now the oven needs to be preheated to 375 and baked for 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for the butter tarts to finish in 10 minutes time, start thinking about what you'd like to do for your Valentine. It's tomorrow. I hope this gives you a quick and easy idea. It really isn't difficult to make. If you like this show so far and you've been following my channel, maybe consider subscribing. Maybe give it a like. It is a good channel and I hope you take away something from this. I hope you make butter tarts in the near future. Well, we have to wait a few more minutes. Be sure that it cools down. minutes. have to be patient. It's so difficult. Oh, 10 minutes. Really? Did you writing it down? Yes, yes. Affirmative. Copy that. Well, that's it. I hope you give your match made in heaven something special this Valentine's Day. Until next time, do take care. Au revoir.